So one of the other principles I really want you to get comfortable with in digital painting is really zooming in for some of those small details. One of the ways I'm going to show you this is with an eyeball. It's pretty easy to sketch. It's uh, got a lot of complex details when you really zoom in and it's just, it's a lot of fun. So I'm going to create a new layer and I don't care which brushes you use to sketch. Usually people go for a hard round and treat it like a pencil as such. That is entirely up to you. I like to go for around between size seven and nine, but again, it's going to be different depending on what you're working on. So I'm just going to sketch an eye real quick. I'm going to start with the pupil. It can be kind of scratchy because I'm just doing the sketch of it. I'm actually going to do another layer of it with just fine inking. I like to sketch pretty scratchy. So I'm coming in, getting some of those details. You can do whatever shape eye you want. This works for cartoon eyes as well. My style always kind of leans cartoony because that's just who I am. There's the eyelid. And I could do, I'm going to do my swooshy eyelashes in uh, my line art because I like to go really ham with those. I'm going to create a new layer, Command Shift N for new. And I'm going to drop the opacity of my sketch layer. Night, night. So I can see what I'm doing on my inking layer. For my inking layer, I'm going to choose a different brush. I really like this one for inking, but your results may vary. You can also, as I've mentioned before, alter the size and direction of your brushes. Hang on. Bring it back. Give it back the angle and direction. So if you want more of a calligraphy brush, which I do, you can do that. So I'm going to just come in and line up some of those things. The other really nice thing, I got a little jittery with that. You can turn up the smoothing. We like smoothing. So smooth. See how nice and smooth that makes, even though I've got the coffee jitters. I do, in fact, have the coffee jitters. There's my eyelid. Come in, and I'm just doing a very basic contour outline of my eye. You guys can decide whether or not you want to leave the lines afterwards. This is just how I do. All right, I'm actually going to jump down to layer one and go underneath those. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill layer one with something besides white so I can see my white on white when I do the sclera of the eye. So let's make that, let's see, how about like a bluish purple gray. Okay, there we go. I'm going to come in with a soft white brush, but not completely stark white because that looks kind of weird. It looks a little too bright when you're doing an eyeball. Make my brush a little bigger. And come in here and paint. La 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 la. Make my brush even bigger. This is a really big canvas. It's like 4,000 pixels because I like to work large. You'll see why in a minute. And I could actually turn my sketch layer off, which I should have called it sketch layer. I didn't. And the other thing people often don't think about when they're sketching eyes, why are you doing that, is um, there's actually some shadow on the eyeball itself. A lot of people want to go straight for straight up white. Oh, I still have smoothing on. That's why it's fussing at me. No, I don't want smooth. I want paint. And I can come back and clean this up in a hot minute. Um, lost my train of thought there. There is, in fact, some shadow on the eyes. So I've chosen kind of a warm white. So I'm going to choose a warm gray to blend in with my shadow. And the really nice thing about working in Photoshop is that I've recently learned this trick. It would have saved me so much heartache when I was younger. If you come over here to your layers palette, there's a little checkerboard here and a lock. It says lock transparent pixels. That means anything on that layer that does not already have paint on it will not accept paint. This is super useful for shading and stuff. So I'm actually going to come in and just add some dimension to that eye using some shading. 
This is where you rely on all the cool things white had taught you about color and stuff. I'm going to go a little bit darker. Not by much. Then I could mess with the opacity. I don't want to go too dark. That might be a little too dark. And it really is just a matter of working your stiff. And as I get closer to the center, I can go over with... See, that looks too stripy. You don't want that. I can go over with my pure white. And notice, even though I'm going, Wah! it's not, in fact, going outside of my locked pixels. I'm going to drop this up a little bit just to make that blend a little smoother. And now here's the fun part. I forgot to do my eyelashes. We're going to do that real quick. Hard round. No, we want my fancy wet brush. Where's my inky, inky brush? Thanks, Kyle. And I'm just going to throw some of those in there and really taper that brush. You can save brush settings, BT Dubs, guys. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Don't remember how to do it right now, but you can save them. <laughs> Something that's useful for later on. And I'm just going to throw some... Nice eyelashes, because the eye looks weird without them. And play around with thickness. Do, 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 do. Couple on the bottom. Too thick. Your eyeliner will be too thick, honey. All right. That's, that's good enough. It's a little wonky, but it's good enough. All right. To the main event, the iris. Um, I'm actually going to stay on the same layer. Some people might want to create a new layer, but I'm going to stay on the same one. And I'm going to zoom, 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 and put my flats down. Again, if you want to lock your pixels while you're doing this to keep it in your line art shape, don't do it yet because that's an empty part. Do, do, do. Don't lock your pixels if it's empty. Let's start with a nice dull green. And I'm just going to come in with my soft brown brush and fill this in. And then we're gonna to move to another video so this one doesn't get too long. So pick a color, any color. It can be something uh, ostentatious, like purple, IDK, what it is. But pick a flat color for your iris. Thanks. 